Ultimately, the goal is this. We're going to Mars. And in order to go to Mars, we have to use the moon as a proving ground. We need to learn how to live and work on the surface of another world for long periods of time. And in order to do that, friends, we need spacesuits. The Artemis generation is now revealing its spacesuits for our generation. Let's take a look at the spacesuits of the Artemis generation. when we go to the moon. And it is also true that we have with Christine, Amy Ross, who is a spacesuit engineer, and we have uh, Dustin Gomert, who is wearing not a, not a, not a spacesuit that we're going to have on the surface of the moon, but on the way to the vicinity of the moon. So these are our spacesuits for the Artemis generation. We've been working for a long time to build spacesuits that will do the job on the moon and going on to Mars. So basically, my job is to take a basketball, shape it like a human, keep them alive in a harsh environment, and give them the mobility to do their job. So one of the things we've looked at is trying to reduce the space here, make a smaller unit, display and control unit here, and get those shoulders to where she has a lot more mobility to move. So she's able to do a cross reach and get across the suit, as well as reach overhead, which they can't do today and couldn't do during the Apollo program. Then in addition to that, we also, because this is the first time we've gotten to build a suit specifically for a planetary surface, we have a lot more mobility in the lower torso. So we have a waist bearing, and we have three bearings on the legs, as well as a flexion extension joint here at the waist. And that gives Chris a lot of capability to move around and do whatever tasks we might need to do for science and maintenance on the planetary surface. So just so everybody knows, Christine's spacesuit is under pressure right now. And that usually makes it very difficult to mobilize. And yet, what is she doing? She's, she's moving around. If we remember the Apollo generation, you remember Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, they bunny hopped on the surface of the moon. Well, now we're actually going to be able to walk on the surface of the moon, which is very different than our, our seats, suits of the past. So if you would, Amy, tell us a little bit about... Um, the thermal environment on the moon and how this suit is going to be helpful in that environment. Yeah, we normally try to plan for a thermal environment that reaches, ranges from 250 degrees Fahrenheit to minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit with some potentially colder spots in the south pole of the moon. And so we are looking at the materials and the protection for this suit to keep our astronauts comfortable while they perform their job. So you're saying that Christine in this suit would be able to be at plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit or at minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in the exact same suit? Yes, we can. And so for the moon, we're using materials that allow us to do that. And when we go to Mars, we're going to need a new in insulation because that has an atmosphere in, in Mars, and our insulation depends on the vacuum of space right now. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.